people then just hate me. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, this na Dr. Sylvia Olainka Blyden. And today, Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. This Nami 81st audio in the ongoing series of address to the people of Sierra Leone. We go call them audio number 081. And today, I want to know no say, are they out of the country? I don't start my holidays. I don't come out Switzerland. Right now, I did not London. From London, I did go to America. From America, I did go straight back to Sierra Leone by the end of September so that I go meet up voter registration. Dear, I want for big on all, let everybody make sure say on a register for vote. I also want for a show on a say, that talk we at the bio broadcast yesterday, say Julius Mother Bill, they carry me go America for attend United Nations, not to two. Once again, at the Ashona from the bottom of my heart, as a honest patriot of this country, say I not get no business with President Julius Mother Bill. I know they talk to President Mother Bill, I know they discuss with President Mother Bill, you know they give me no money, you know they send me go no side. Everything they tell you now, now because they try to demonize me, make people then just hate me. They don't try to, and I want to tell you now, all thank you from Kabbalah to Bonf, from Kailan to Freetown across this country. For when I continue for believing me, despite all what they tell you now, when I still believe in me. In a way, they allow them for misleading her. There's nothing I can do. Pass for pray to God. She let God touch on her heart. Make on her be understand, see. Then they mislead on her. Then they misguide on her. Because me not one person where they tell on her that true. That truth. That honest truth. We then no want for tell on her. Because they want for use on her. They want for use on her as tools. God is my witness, and I talk again this night to everything I hold sacred. I have no business with President Julius Mother Bill. Do I have a relationship with his wife? Yes. Do I love his wife? Of course, like my little sister. I like her tremendously. I know they hide them. But do we see? No, we don't can see. Do we talk? Yeah, we can talk if we need day for talk. We will talk. But the kind way when they portray them, just because are they patriotically talk through now this country, it is not fair. Where they bring me now to the next issue, the issue of evangelist Samson. Then people here don't take my name, take a screenshot from a group, they share them all over. They lie, say, me, they now one group with Usai President Julius Mother Beauty give directives and uh, identification that in President Julius Malabio based on the directives, he give instructions so that they will kill Evangelist Samson. Hey, mother man, we get for careful. The kind of wickedness we want to do inside that party day. The kind of lies they want to cook up inside that party day. The people they make I explain to you about that screenshot day. Una, they can shock at the wickedness of Motorman. First of all, that group they inside and pull that screenshot. The vast majority of people they read inside they are APC people. Then I can name some of them for Una. We got Una Ibu Cherry Koko, Una Ibu Cherry Noba, the APC parliamentary leader. We get Alfred Peter Conte, the current chairman of the interim APC leadership. We got Honorable Abdul Kagbo, the current secretary of the interim leadership. We got Ambassador Usman Fodeyansane, 
the former Secretary General of the APC. We get former cabinet ministers of Anes Baikoma. In fact, Anes Baikoma self self me inside that group there. Now, when I can tell us on true and why again, that he vex the command of the group. But he means they inside that group, not to no SLPP group. Julius Mada be not ever they inside that group day. That group where they can show and see that they may identify Mada Bio the instructions, say let them go kill Evangelist Samson. He has never been a member in that group. We get other famous APC people then day. We get Jaya Kawusu Conte. We get Ali Conte Banki Moon. We get Bambi Kamara Julius. We get Tabscano, Reverend Tabscano Kokoroko newspaper. We get Madina Raman. We get Oluni Robin Koka. We get Tipeps. We get Pasani Sisi. We get all the vibrant members of parliament. We can think of AKK, uh, Lahai Mara, uh, all of them, the nature that group there. We get Honorable Alimami inside that group, the former youth minister ambassador. We get Konyulos Dovo. We get Logus Koroma. We get APC Sheriff, we get Danke. We get so many APC people there inside that group there. So many APC people there. Now inside the group, now there are people them when an APC, they praise Alfred Peter Conte, the interviewer he did in a BBC. He did a beautiful interview in a BBC. And before I go further, and they can play the interview for now. And they play two minutes of the interview. And they can listen them. And they come back in and continue this broadcast. I want you to know see the wickedness with the inside the APC. More time than not for time. So. You know they hate person so. You know they like and person so. But when I can listen to the BBC interview, then they can continue for explain to now. No, I see how APC don't get a lucky more time than inside. But I don't tell them they're not going to ever able to bring me down inside the All People's Congress. But when I can listen first this interview, then I will continue for explain to her about that evangelist something comment there. When I listen. nothing to do with that strike or what you call protest and the demonstrations they have been happening in your party stronghold only the demonstration happened in Freetown and Freetown is part of the western region and it happens to be the capital city and it's also a stronghold of the all people's congress party but that does not tie the protest to our party why not? It, 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 seems, it seems quite clear. If the protest had to do with anything like, for instance, the high cost of living, general dissatisfaction with other issues, it would have spread across the country. It didn't. It spread to areas that are your party's strongholds, Makeni, etc., Kamakwe, and so on. So who do you blame for the disturbances? And why do you think that it's only happening in your area? Well, to be honest with you, we've been echoing certain developments within the All People's Congress Party in which some elements of the party feel as though the party belongs to them. And then some of them were parading around with self-proclaimed title as major stakeholders. So when I say the APC, I'm talking of my administration. So there is, All People's Congress. So there is room then for people to feel and believe with justification that elements within the APC are responsible for the disturbances. And let's be, let, 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 let's be frank, for the brutal killing of at least five police men and women. So I want to say this one more time. It is really pathetic, and I want to express my condolences to those who lost their lives. But I want to let the world know that the actions of few does not represent the All People's Congress Party. <laughs> Me people them now this interview will oh, not just don't listen where Alfred Peter Conte they brilliantly defend the All People's Congress Party because the BBC the only BBC they ask and say how All People's Congress we don't go kill policemen then we don't go destroy we don't commit carnage and they hear the brilliant answers where Alfred Peter Conte give 
He was extremely superb. He cleaned up Mupati's image. So with the praise him inside the group, me the praise him inside the group, said so the interview very, very good. When I hear one part where he talk, he say, not to APC party, responsible for the carnage killing of police officers and all which thing happen. He say, certain people then there, when I listen, you know, he said that they parade around with self-proclaimed titles as major stakeholders. I repeat, after Peter Conte tell the BBC, say, he said not to APC responsible. He said certain people and they parade around with self-proclaimed titles as major stakeholders of the APC. In fact, that particular part me, and they can't play and back low and listen and keenly when I listen to the words of Afro Peter Conte. And some of them were parading around with self-proclaimed title as major stakeholders. Me people them, on I don't hear the exact words we Alfred Peter Conte talk. He said not to APC. He said, but some of the members, they made a parade around with self-proclaimed titles, grandiloquent titles, give them say big, big title. They make like they're major stakeholders then at the party. And then people then they give bad name. We make people in the field to see na APC, na such a terrible party with a kill police money, with a cause such damage, with a do that kind of destruction we happen at the country. So Alfred did this interview. He don't clean the party image out. Say not to the party, not to the party. Now certain people the way they use title. Now who that's the name people the way they use title? I want to know for Carly said they can play now two short clips of the late evangelist Samson. But before I play the two short clips. Me people them, I don't understand certain hypocrisy where they go on. Every single person we honest inside the APC, no see, evangelist something may they do broadcasts, they support what happen August 8, 9, and 10. It not only may they do broadcast, but it did have them WhatsApp groups, Openly, they challenge the SL people, they pan debate, then they fetch and they argue amongst themselves for this August 8, 9, and 10. So, not so secret, say, evangelist something a part and parcel of that August 8, 9, and 10. And evangelist something, now one of the APC people, they will be very prominent. Pull not to, he pulled more than 10 audios for Batodi, August 8, 9, and 10. Even up to the day, he they pull audios up to August 10th, he they pull audios. So not a secret. Even inside some group, like one group in the United Tribes, you get all kind of people in there. Evangelist Samson at the group, they tell the SIPP man and say, Tomorrow by now, that's not the day before the demonstration. He said, tomorrow by now, on a good day in hiding, on a go and friends, friends side for hide. Who would they come for now? So not so a secret that evangelist something now a part and parcel of the APC people then will join Adebayo in this demonstration. Because the vast majority, I repeat, the vast majority of the All People's Congress, we never support Adebayo. We not take it for me. Now, waiting with man called empty vessels make the most noise. Now, it happened around Anes Baikoma in phenomenal way, create. The vast majority of APC people will never support Adebayo. We not mark me words. Now, noise then they make. The jihadists, as I can call them, now noise than they make. The vast majority of us in the APC, we are decent people. We know the Falamami cause bomba. 
So the one them where Anes by coma they use we believe in Anes by coma come rain come shine. Now then they follow at the bio in call. Now evangelist something now one person will you know make no secret of the fact that he they support at the bio in call for people and for common street. So on a can listen to two short voice of evangelist something to he make more than 10 audios inside a space of few days no more he make more than 10 audios where they call on people they give directives everything on this demonstration but when i can't listen i just play two number for now listen them then i come back in now and we can discuss the wickedness and evil within inside the all people's congress party we're going to make all we chances for grow we're not going to able for grow because you know you can get bad acts for one person where all man they see say this person a patriot. You get bad acts for her. You they try for poel her. You know they over two years you they try for poel the person. You know they take you they fetch for poel the person. That the party they ambog. Because for a fashion silver blind then. That the party they ambog. Because me right now one of the cleanest politicians in the country. One of the cleanest assets of the All People's Congress. On a fashion minimum, on a life minimum, on a video party, they grow. It's not going to ever grow. My voice is powerful. I'm lovable. People like me. I mentor people. Young people listen to me. Now, my voice they listen to when neutralize everything on that on August 10. Now, my voice, when they listen to now me neutralize everything because people believe me, they trust me, they like me, they love me. So, on our way, they're not on a jihad disfaction. On our way, they call the lunatic left right now. On our catch up yet, you have been shifted way to the left. Me a shining star right now. Very popular, very lovable, well liked. Pass outside of our own circle, on our empty bucket circle. But on a fashion, me no more. All day, una can lie, una lie, una lie. For how long? People you don't let me down at this country. Take it or leave it. Na fact. <laughs> na fact. People you don't let me down. People they respect me when I talk. My voice goes far. Una they can't they can't cause 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 mommy cause cause me mama cause me call me this. It doesn't mean anything. People don't like me. They don't let me down. When I talk, my voice they go far. It get weight. People listen to me. So if that feed does the APC go able to grow, when are they persistent in the attacks if you are blind in the moment? When are they poor the party? A fact that one, a fact that they tell us so. But when I can't listen, when are the innocent one, the way they don't mislead. See, now me, who identify Evangelist Samson to Mother Bio, Mother Bio say me, then go kill her. No lie. When I can't listen, when I can't listen to this story, though. When I listen to Evangelist Samson's voice, thank you. Um, this study, voice of evangelism, the APC media field marshal. I would like to say good morning to all civil unions. Um, you know, matter the parties that you did. I just want to pass this um breaking news that the SLPP proper um talks and then they the party office of the SLPP, the trainer for mobilize for attacks on shop there with the open so that's a given name to Adebayo we call for this wonderful protest. But that that's make a day by your say no business of what take place. Nobody know for right cake, nobody for right bike, nobody for right um, uh, 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 taxi, you know, no private vehicle, no for plan at the street of free town or book, Kenema or Makeno, every part so far. Now may people them that audio day now the broadcast of Evangelist Samson on Monday, August 8th. The first day of the sit at home strike, where they call for. Where people they not really listen to them. Now that broadcast the evangelist something make, where they warn people then for lock them shop and for come out in the streets. If they give in your reason, it's in a SFP they want to attack people then for lock them shop, attack etc. etc. Et but the interesting part is when I listen how he starts the announcement, he describes himself as the APC media field marshal. 
you know, the UI describing science. So you open up the statement, field marshal, the APC field marshal. That's now August 8th. Now, on a can listen, the one of August 10th, that's not the actual day now, where the riot, they take place, the killings, they take place, the damage, the carnage, they happen. August 10th, on a listen up. And once again, on a listen how it starts for introducing himself, the name we use for introducing himself, where he wants to make the announcement. It's very important on a listen. This is uh, very urgent information when it comes from me, evangelist something the APC media field marshal. Today on Wednesday, the 10th of August, 2022, as seen the day where salon people are ready for redeem this country from this wicked tribalism government. And as I say to now, now, the Houston flop, you know, Shaka Stevens flop with people, them. you go to Bacha Street, you go to Street, Eastern Police, talk to you go to McKinney, you go to Boca, you go inside Bo, Colonel, every side, Lungel, Lushar, Bincomo, Every side people in the come out now, and as I talk to now, the international community only go ahead, and then a uh, hundred percent approve this particular protest. Now that's make nobody no get my kill. Then so Jamano and the street of presidential guards, they no get my fire. Nobody anywhere we set fire, and a big crowd. Those mad at me, they arrest her. They no go no fear. That thing actually the fire. Don't go panic people. Like, they don't get nothing for do. So please, I get us at the sector now. Some police and I east there. Just imagine they put down their weapon and they beg people and say yes. They no go fight again. They no mix because they no say the people will overcome them. Now, me people them, when I don't listen, just two of Evangelist Samson in broadcasts around the demonstration with Adebayo call, and it's my call, my poppy, Adebayo. Now, each of them two broadcasting day, where they broadcast on behalf of the demonstration, it starts off by describing himself with a grand name, a self-proclaimed name, like in a major stakeholder. He say in a, the APC media field marshal. So he starts, he you not know, start, you not know, say evangelist something. You know, he makes sure say he attach the, the APC name for the broadcast. So now that kind issue there. Now, Alfred Peter Conte, mean then na BBC, they fight for clean up the APC image. Say not to APC associated with that bunch of people then, we create that confusion. The England BBC woman, they ask and say, killed police people, killed police officers. The England BBC woman, they ask her. And you see how Alfred Peter Conte diligently they clean up the APC image by explaining. And when I listen again the words of Alfred Peter Conte to the BBC, when I listen keenly to what Alfred Peter Conte say, I they play that small part the back that at the kind side for continuing this explanation. Thank you. When I listen. And some of them were already in the ground with self-proclaimed title as major stakeholders. Now, me people, now that brilliant interview the way Alfred Peter Conte get to the BBC, we went at the decent APC people then, with the insider WhatsApp group, we they commend and praise Alfred Peter Conte, say he do very well for the APC. So we praise them, we praise them, say he don't really try because the interview was brilliant to the BBC. Now they one mortal man, one halaki mortal man. You know, the English language, then get inside the dictionary, they get one word with them called bastard. Bastard inside the English dictionary, then they describe the kind of mortal man where you for call a bastard. That particular person in the corner, Alpha Koma. He came to the group. Now he can attack Alfred Peter Conte. 
He said, no, I appreciate the interview with Afro Peter Conte do. He said, because Afro Peter Conte for talk, who that na the APC people ya, we get time to run. We have a Peter Conte talk about to the BBC. Imagine, we if I can't tell you, company, thank you for such a brilliant interview. We don't clean up your party image. We if I can't say thank you. You don't say thank you to have a Peter Conte. You can't attack the man inside the group because have a Peter Conte inside the group. They're all inside the group. Payan Sane Dede, Cherry Coco Dede. Honorable Abdukad Bodede is a very decent WhatsApp group, very decent exchanges. Now he can attack the man inside the group. He said the man, not for talk, say people that they will get, they, they use titles. Now I tell that can now and say, Bo, if they attack this man, that the correct thing, that the correct thing at Repeater Conte talk. Because take Evangelist Samson, for example. He don't give himself time to listen a chairman of all APC social media groups. So when he can talk, he gives himself then time to them. He they associate the APC with all the nonsense where they happen. And so after Peter Conte correct. Me fumble at the discussion that oh, now then why I don't take now. When I go look the screenshot, now this Alpha Coroma. When an English dictionary definition of a bastard in behavior, perfect English dictionary definition of a bastard. Now, in grab, go inside that group, screenshots that small side, all oh, the other side of all the praise are for Peter Conte. You know, screenshots, the, oh, the small side, what can answer and I'll say, Bo, even Evangelist Sam Singer. They use big, big name. Look the title where he himself saying that APC uh, chairman, all APC social media groups. Now that side of the canal is screenshots. It's a canal because we don't find out saying I ain't Guam. We don't see how he name writes you because I ain't type I show you. So I ain't screenshot. It go give one of the halaki mortal man within a Canada. Then begin pass this thing on a social media, say, me doing a group with Mother Bio. Now, me go tell Mother Bio, say, look one of them, now Evangelist Samson, now in a chairman of APC social media groups. When I see wickedness in our party, when I see how they twist the talk, when I see how they twist the talk, when I see wickedness inside this APC party, and the most unfortunate side, they don't dip on this. I, I keep quiet for two days. And only two days now, they lie for me on a meeting, Mother Bio, for say, Evangelist Samson. Mother Bio will give directives. So when I go kill Evangelist Samson. And all them people are then they're not the group. They're not, not able to come out for defend me. Say, hey, this is not true. Nothing like this not happen. We didn't say that group day. We did also Dr. Blyde and they defend Alfred Peter Conte. Say, Alfred Peter Conte don't do very well for winner BBC. Where he talks in a so mortal man, then they use big, big title. And then they happen. Evangelist Samson had the entire to the way they go use APC field, uh, media, uh, field marshal. They be here now on behalf of Adebayo. Now they make the associate the APC with the Adebayo carnage. So Alfred Peter Conte was very smart for talk say certain people them where they parade with self-proclaimed title. You know what's a title for themselves? When I listen to Peter Conte in voice once again, you now when I understand this issue, they play them back for now once again. When I listen with Afro Peter Conte, they talk like the BBC. When Afro Peter Conte, they strive, they fight very hard for cleaning up the APC image to the BBC. When I listen them back before I continue. Some of them were parading around with self-proclaimed title as major stakeholders. And now they can play now again the title, the self-proclaimed title of Evangelist Samson, where they talk on behalf of the demonstration. And they play the old two back again, alone and listen to the old two back. They want to go understand the points where they come from. Um, this study, voice of Evangelist Samson, the APC media field marshal. 
This are very urgent information when it comes from me. Evangelist Samson, the APC Media Field Marshal. Today, on Wednesday, the 10th of August, 2030. It was simple. Alfred Peter Conte has done a very good job for the APC by distancing the APC from the carnage, from Adebayo, and explaining to so them, people, them, they give themselves a big, big title. <laughs> And claim say they are major state because we well, don't call yourself a PC media field marshal. A field marshal at the highest rank. So you don't make yourself a major stakeholder. Now that Alfred Peter Conte, they tell the BBC say now self-proclaim the title, not to a PC them people that they talk for. This boy can begin to attack Alfred Peter Conte. Say, Alfred, who that this way is up, but we get tied to. Now I say, Bo, Alfred is correct. Take Evangelist Samson, for example. Now type now the second type on that. Say, Evangelist Samson, where they call himself chairman, all APC media groups. Now the conversation that so many people them. Nine don't so many people them. Nine this so. They're all there inside the group. All of them. Cherry Coco they inside the group. Jara Kausu Conte they inside the group. Usma for the Yansan they inside the group. Honorable Abdul Kagbo they inside the group. Kamskanu they inside the group. Madina Zama they inside the group. Ali Conte Banki Moon they inside the group. Logus Koma Konilos Devo. All man dead. All man see the exchange. On a non no able to map for talk for Syria blinded and explain to people there two days now and they lie to me in this country and they watch on all. On a non no able to map and explain, even you, the Alfred Peter Conte, because now you are in the defend, you're not able for talk to people them. Say no, this screenshot not to nothing for do with mother bill. Now me, Dr. Blyden, in the defend, say me BBC interview very good. Now me, Dr. Blyden, me they defend Alfred Peter Conte, you know, able to talk. You see them, they pull me name, they, they lie for me, you know, able to talk. Honorable Abdul Kagbo, you know, able to talk. Cherry Coco, you know, able to talk. Who's kind of party this? Eh? Who's kind of party this? What they want to go so get bad mind, on a so content for watch, then they lie for me. Say me, then a group with Mother Bio, me, they sell me company APC, they out. Ebo. Who's kind of wickedness this? Why would I not able to stand up for me two days now? Then they lie for me in this country. Say me, now me go sell evangelist something out. Me then a group with mother bill. Me tell my why would I not able to stand up and talk? Say nothing like that. This is not APC to APC me. They talk to themselves. Why would I not able to defend me? Why would I for so content? Why would I forget so much malice? They want to done like say peace. We we'll forget peace to the APC. How will I all go be so content? You're all in the group. None of them are able to map two days now at the watch on our all. On a none not able to defend me for explain to people then the misconception. On a see that about that idiot where they call himself Emmanuel. He pulled 20 minutes video, 20 minutes audio. It is swear me, say me and me go sell evangelist something out to Julius Mother Bill based on lies. I wanna want this party for, for survive. How? Me don't they mean a shining star. <laughs> when I get bad that for me, the more that they get bad that for me, the more God they elevate me in the eyes of the people. The more God they make the people and they see me for the clean heart I get. At the big una, una stop for destroy good people then. There is a limit to anything where any good person can take. This particular one, when I can create enmity for me for the rest of my life, when I go make people then look me like some evil person. Because una all satisfied for keep quiet when they lie for me, say me go sell evangelist something out. Una no able explain say in fact that the exact opposite. Now the APC chairman of Peter Conte in BBC interview. Who all the praise that the group. Now in this one great motor man come out, he say, no, the interview is not good. Let police go ask how they get this title. 
Yeah. Yes, but we all know, look evangelist Samson in tighty way he gains a APC social media chairman. Now the world don't show me people then. Now he don't show where they can't twist and now screenshot and for destroy me in this country. I'm very pained about it. More especially the silence from Alfred Peter Conte, from Abdul Kagbo, from Cherry Coco. All of them keep silent and they pull me name on a dinner the group, on a get the facts, on a know the exchange. And you kept quiet. You want me down. Because why else would you keep quiet? Why else would you not have been the ones to come out and explain to people, especially you, Alfred? This is not fair. Political party not for this. So. On that note, today, I will go to the next topic, still on Evangelist Samson. Evangelist Samson in Taiwan, na Makini. Me, if me na Julius Mother Bill, His Excellency the President, I they call it public inquiry. Because what it happened August 10 in this country, it was a coup. It was a coup. You look at all the stages, all the steps, you look at how everything was going. It was supposed to be a coup, a takeover. Evangelist Samson in audio, the way me they broadcast, the man they talk about the international community, don't tell them, say, let them go ahead. The man they talk with confidence. The man then a groups, if they tell people, then say, tomorrow by this time, SI people then go there in hiding. He had confidence. Somebody gave confidence. This is the type of person where the government may for need for put and don't get ask him. So who say me the pull in confidence here for talk with? Not the kind of person where government could go shoot, kill instantly if or die, execute him. That killing is a contract killing. It's an execution. They wanted him executed. And if me not the president, because now look, president, they get bad name all over the world and say the extrajudicial killings of the opposition. If me not the president, I they set up an inquiry into the death of Evangelist Samson Amakeni. I have nothing more to say other than to say, if me not the president, the way and manner in which Evangelist Samson died, even the police press release, it has so many more questions than answers. The police very clever. They no right saying a policeman shoot a mo. They no saying a policeman get shoot out with a mo. They say security forces. Security forces can be any of the armed forces. So if me not the president, if I really want to understand this military operation will not succeed because it not succeed. I go investigate who that the instructions for go after evangelist Samson. How come there was killing? How come he was shot? Why they not shooting foot? Why they kill him? I would investigate because the death has to be investigated. So I think that's now the second point for evangelist Samson. Now I they come to this other issue. Way na the joke, <laughs> the big fat joke. Way and it's by Kuma and Poppy. I did buy a pool. They call and press release from PPP. I know you will step on a much. Um, I just want to draw on attention. You know, a comedy, you know, a joke. You know, we post in a joker. He get an address. The address na United States address in Columbus, Ohio. I want for inform on our that address day, na an address for a parcel post service, parcel post, not to host address or not to office address. Then call the UPS, parcel services, UPS. So if you send letter, go na da UPS, na like a PO box, you will get a box, small box, Box number 308, where the daily letter will go if they get a letter for you. Not to know address, not to know office. 
that the kind thing where they use where you have to stay anonymous. You know what people then for know that you be the hide hide, you dip and bend bend, you dip and darkness, you the hide. Nine that, that address, that address we wanna see. When that press release, we are they by your poor call PPP. Not to real address so that pass to post. <laughs> They call her UPS. We say, you know, one people then for know you, so they hide. And at Columbus, Ohio, that same side, we say that about Jibril Bangura, we meet up, and not one day meet in my life, we then can go and lie, say, oh, I mean, me they control Jibril Bangura, I mean, they control her, they buy up and lie. This Jibril Bangura, now Columbus, Ohio, that the same area that they did. Outside that pass post day. So when I put two plus two no more, then when I go able to know, say, no, that's so, so fake. Then they try for make cover up for protect and it's by coma and protect the real people then where they be at the bio. So now Jibri Bangura, in area outside day, the pass post where they did, now they address that in the news, I don't investigate, I all done. A joke, a comedy. The telephone number where they use now, London, now yeah, London telephone number. Now mobile phone, like we they buy SIM card and street. <laughs> the person not get mind for use in your name or in your host address or in office address number. No. And then street mobile phone, then SIM card. Now it take. The one that look the signature, the person not get name, it just scramble, 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 just try try some kind of ink there. That rubbish than the other, just dismiss and that embarrassment. What are they shown now is the utterances of Adebayo. Because see, they try for reverse out, say, you know, when they tell people them for who kill them. The utterances of Adebayo, I get for play inside my next audio podcast. Who say they give instructions, say they go kill Justice Adrian Fisher? Who say they give instructions, say they go for kill Sylvia Blyden, kill Sylvia Blyden, etc., kill Sylvia Blyden driver, and they play all for now? Who say they give instructions for born mortal man them? I get for play all now the next audio. So anybody where they associate himself right now with Adebayo, when the whole thing I don't spark to international levels, ready, ready, because a lot of people don't understand yet. See the killings of police officers in uniforms. That's something where the world heavily not they tolerate. So only way they can associate yourself with such murders, with such killings. And see now that they hide, and they use pass to post, anonymous post box, and they make a like an address, and they buy SIM card in the street, and they make like send a telephone number, but fake. And they want to they be careful. Some of them might end up they go to jail behind this tenure. By ordinary association of this tenure, Four police officers, at least four, in fact, I understand five police officers were killed unlawfully on the streets of Freetown, Makini, and Kamakui by a mob that was incited, given instructions to kill. And Una Seuna de Go associated on herself with such an entity, Asiuna Fa, Asiuna Fa. Those lives that were lost because of that incitement, they will not be lost in vain. And I'll be very careful. But my people, them, when I rest assured, a fake address, a fake telephone number, a coward behavior, and as by Kuma has to own up, be a man, not afraid, team up, talk and say, I did buy on a me, Bobo, me and him talk, not afraid. Team up. <laughs> I don't know why they're scared. Not scared. Team up. Say that you bobo. I did buy one. I mean, bobo. I sabi am. Me and can talk. Not afraid. Why are they afraid? Let people know that you are the brains behind this puppet. Not be afraid. Come out. Begin to go use PO box na Columbus, Ohio. Begin to use telephone number when they exist. No nonsense. Be brave. When all way they be in the they buy always mislead with youths and with women. Come forward, identify yourselves. And now I can round up this broadcast now with the issue of 
with national security and, and it's by Kuma and Money Laundering. I will talk extensively on that in the next broadcast where I get for talk about Adibayo more at length. But for Roundup, I can play for an, uh, an interview. An interview that was given 30 months ago in this country. And it was given by a person who currently hold the number two position in the legal arm of the executive arm of government. That is the constitutional number two position. The position where the constitution is at the number two position next to the attorney general. That is the solicitor general of the Republic of Sierra Leone. An interview that the solicitor, the current solicitor general of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Robert B. Kowa. An interview that Robert B. Kowa gave 30 months ago. And they can't play them for now. No one understand the extent of the money laundering crimes with Anes by Koma get hanging over his head. And then crimes then they will hang over his head, they make the country in democracy don't poil high poil so. But I will discuss that more in a future, ne in, fact, in the next audio. But for today, I want to know for can listen an interview by the Solicitor General at the time that I'm the State Council representing the government of President Julius Madabio at the Commission of Inquiry. He gave an interview to journalists on the final day where they explain about Alex by coma in money laundering. So a lot of Funa we normally they pay attention to that commission of inquiry day. When I can talk about Alex by coma in money laundering, a lot of the ones that were malicious can begin to talk, say, oh, Sylvia, just a cook up story, not get evidence. Oh, Sylvia, I waiting to tell me in the area where they work near Alex by coma. No. All waiting, I can talk about money laundering. Now waiting, I hear it and see now the commission of inquiry, the Bankole Thompson Commission of Inquiry. So me people there, when I can listen the interview where the Solicitor General, when are the number two man now Julius Madabio in justice sector, he is the number two man, Robert Bikoa. When I can listen, waiting he talk about Anes by Koma in money laundering. And I want to know for keep in mind that the minimum jail term for waiting Robert B. Koa, they talk in this interview, that seven years jail. Seven years jail. Now you go by Anes by Koma in eight. When I can listen the interview, of Robert Bikoa, and then I will round up for tonight. And in my next broadcast, I can show now, now how this danger will end over Anes by Kumai aid don't end up to be a national security threat to the Republic of Sierra Leone and a threat to the stability of the democratic credentials. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you an interview by the current Solicitor General of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Robert B. Kowa. When I listen to this interview, and then I will round up for tonight. Justice FM 98.5. Well, of course, uh, this is a usual program. Inside the Commission of Inquiry, we can come to you every Saturday from 9 o'clock in the evening. Well, of course, uh, today don't be the 14th day of uh, January 2020, a day right inside the Commission of Inquiry. 
Well, of course, today, uh, Justice Thompson finally um, allowed prosecutors and the uh, persons of interest for Merekangi their final address. But with me, I get somebody who will love for introducing himself. Welcome to Justice FM, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Mina Robert B. Kua, State Council representing the state in the Commission of Inquiry. Robert B. Kua, so what in, um, generally happened to the uh, Commission of Inquiry? Well, um, we bring, we can do with submissions, then we close in submissions then today, and we obviously start with the in examination of the assets of the former president, Ernest by Koma. So, me don't do my submissions, they are done, done. And uh, the defense counsel now, Mr. Fitzgerald Kamara, they do your submission. And we are joined so that it will continue tomorrow. So, in your submission, uh, let's see once I will say um, you the submit to the justice, to justice something that um, um, you request for Madam Banham live for own uh, public uh, office. Why? Well, it's just the, 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 the position of the law. I'm just doing my job as a lawyer. We are in somebody who the public office and if the law find them, say, the act in any way, we are not supposed to act as a public officer. It is but necessary that that person be restricted for all that public office. So briefly, what is within um, the former president, former president and it's my former act? According to my submission, we all will realize say, the acquisition of the wealth we get within the next, the, the 10 years we serve as president is unreasonable and unexplainable. Then you also talk on, um, uh, you also will submit that you also involve in money laundering. Yeah, some of the monies that we utilize were transacted in a way we very doubtful and we amount to money laundering because nobody able to trace the some of the sources of the monies and um the money they're not sure within they meant for. And these are huge sum of monies. We you cannot just transfer it without showing the cause and the transactions at the bank even for go withdraw a sum of one million dollar over the counter in a bank, all of them things they show abuse of office and corrupt practice. You talk of uh, eight million dollars also in your submission from um, the Zingli company. We, of course, they know you mentioned saying not any business, but then paid amounts of eight million dollars. Osai, uh, former government official, we name of uh, Brian Gilpin, Ali Fofana. And others, then they go take quota from that eight million dollars. Then they may go take money there on behalf of the president. Yeah, the Zingling company is a company we realize say has no operational business. The only thing we then do then set her up and begin transact huge sum of money into that company. They've never been involved in mining or anything of it, like a shelf company being used to launder money. So, so, so that means in your own understanding on your submission, that means it is Zingli. Now then, you do the money laundering, you mean, for the former president? Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a collaborative <laughs> approach. They were all working together. They are collaborating for ensure that the monies are, trans are transferred and received by other than get for receiver. But your submission, I think, is a, a, a bitter for submit for do submission that former president of whoever old public office again, and for Banham. Nothing's in a bitter submission, Dandy. I'm a lawyer. I'm just doing my job as a lawyer, and the law is the law. The law is no respect of individuals. The law big pass everybody. So the law is the law. I have nothing to do other than just say what the law says. When you talk of unjust enrichment, and when you find somebody say you unjustly enrich himself, then are one of the punitive actions and one of the remedies. Then. So now, in line of which you really see. Um, the former president don't be elected back as um, leader of um, the opposition party in APC for continued for being a leader till 2023. So that we that's all make um, you can give heavy submission that uh, for banner. No, no, I, I may not address politics. I'm addressing the law. I deal with the law. I'm far from it. The politics, I am not in it. I'm not addressing issues of politics. Okay, so it will be final. Say? Well, my final say is just that we. All go wait for waiting the recommendations then will be from the judge at the end of the day. 
and we hope that the Sierra Leoneans um, will get justice. Thank you. Welcome. So, my family, them, on Adon Yeri, waiting the Solicitor General, whether the number two man next to the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Robert B. Koa. On Yeri, waiting to talk about the evidence we can get against Anes Baikoma. This interview again, not from over two and a half years ago. I don't go find the interview for, for listening up. So I can no say, not to see we apply them first talk about money laundering. This government gets evidence against Anes Baikoma for money laundering. Millions of dollars. On a year with the Solicitor General, the talk, Robert B. Coa. And that problem day, then give recommendation, and the judge follow on the recommendation, say, yes, this money laundering your side. The judge not agree with the way they say for ban and it's by command of for public office. But the judge say for that money laundering side, the recommendation in black and white is that the cabinet of Julius Madabio for send Ness by Koma for investigation for money laundering. Now, it is left to Julius Madabio now for watch and CC. This issue don't turn to a security threat, not to play play anymore. Because Anes Baikoma no want for go jail for seven years. Minimum seven years. So it is now up to Julius Madabio for realize in the interest as a patriot, as a patriot, if I take a decision now, if he let Anes Baikoma go scot free, then let it come forward and tell the whole country we know now see there is no decision to prosecute an by coma for money laundering despite the evidence day in black and white but for just angry this matter how Julius mother bill anger and so it dangerous the national security threat it is destabilized with democracy because unless no one go jail for seven years but inside the next audio we will talk more on this for now, make a close tonight's broadcast, as I can always do, with the tune of the national anthem. Because I can want with the tune they play, they will reflect on the words they walk and they sing, or they sing about the land that we love, our Sierra Leone. May God bless you all. Amen. <laughs> 